They are halfway home at the Palace, where it's been pretty quiet tonight. The Pistons trailing the Pacers, 61-56. Ernie Johnson in Atlanta with the Prudential Halftime Report. A Saturday night fight in Orlando has resulted in fines and suspensions for Greg Kite of the Magic and Ronnie Cycli of the Heat. The two went at it in the closing seconds of the first half in Orlando on Saturday night. Cycli is going to be down here somewhere with Greg Kite on top of him. Kite, labeled the aggressor in the fight, was fined $7,500 and suspended for two games. Cycli was docked $5,000 and suspended for one game. So he's not in there tonight as Miami plays host to Portland. Blazers on the break. They move the ball well here. Clyde Brexler, Buck Williams with the easy layup. 17-9, Blazers on top. Miami rallies to cut the lead to one. Bimbo Cole is going to take it inside into the tough guys and off the glass. Cuts it to 31-30. Clyde Drexler, though, the player of the month in the NBA for November. The runner goes. 10-point halftime lead for Portland, and right now they're running away at Miami. The score in the third period, 78-58 Blazers. Philadelphia 76ers missing Charles Barkley for the fourth straight game with sore ribs. Johnny Dawkins blocked by Terry Mills who throws to Drazen Petrovic all by his lonesome two-point New Jersey lead at Meadowlands Arena. Sixers come back with Hawk and Daw. Hawkins to Johnny Dawkins inside for the easy two. The Nets' Kenny Anderson, the first-year man, going to drive the lane. This looks good, but not much of a result. It's uh, Sam Bowie's right there to throw it down for a 41-38 New Jersey lead. Right now, the Nets trying to hand the Sixers their seventh straight loss, 68-59 in the third period. Phoenix Suns and Minnesota Timberwolves. Jimmy Rogers' guys last in scoring, facing a Phoenix team which has really been lighting it up, 135 points a game over the last three, and that's Tom Chambers for the dunk. Timberwolves' Doug West going to find the back door open, off the glass, cuts the lead. Suns come back. Jeff Hornacek had five assists in the first quarter. Dishes here to Andrew Lang, 15-2 Phoenix run, but Minnesota answers with a 12-4 run. Gerald Glass lays it in, and Minnesota has got a lead at the half at the Target Center. It's 47-46 Minnesota at the break at Target. Los Angeles Lakers are trailing Milwaukee at the Bradley Center in the first 19-11. The Atlanta Hawks down by 10 in the first period at Dallas. Denver Nuggets and Houston Rockets at the Summit, 22-16 the Rockets. When the Prudential Halftime Report continues, in his sixth season, he was named the league's best sixth man. We'll profile the Pacers' Detlef Schrempf after this. The best German imports of the 1980s didn't come with leather interior or anti-lock brakes, but it did come fully equipped from a long NBA grind. Detlef Schrempf has risen to prominence in this league because he is a high-performance machine. Alright, go hit it. While Reggie Miller and Chuck Person command much of the attention in Indiana, another player is making his presence felt. Detlef swings down the lane, jumps it over Kevin. Born in Leverkusen, West Germany, Detlef Schrempf came to this country as a high school student, planning eventually to return to his homeland. But while starring at the University of Washington, Detlef told his family of a slight change in his future plans. They said, I'm going to stay, I'm doing well, and, uh, and I'm going to stay there. And, uh, you know, they, they took it pretty well. The Dallas Mavericks select Detlef Schrempf of the University of Washington. A surprise pick by Dallas in the 1985 draft, Schrempf impressed with his all-around play. He even finished second in the 1987 three-point shooting contest. But it soon became obvious he didn't fit into the Mavericks' plan. After a couple of years, I started saying, why did they draft me? And I wanted about the same, you know, question. Traded in 1989, Shrimp acclimated himself quickly to the new environment. Once he got into the right system uh, that appealed to his talents, uh, that he showed what he can do from day one. Shrimp will try for three. Got it! Inside on a great pass by Della Shrimp can play all five positions. When I play aggressive and try to make things happen, that's when I'm most productive. That makes him, in my opinion, the best sixth man in the league for as long as he wants to play. Winner of last season's best sixth man award, Shrimp knows his role. We have enough scores on the team, so all I have to do is come in and 
and create something, you know, get a rebound, get an assist. I don't have to come in and score 20 points every night. At home in America's heartland, Shrimp and his family are now here for good. My parents always thought I was coming back, but now they, they know I'm not going to come back. Turning a temporary visit into a permanent stay, the versatile Shrimp is helping to set the pace in Indiana's drive to the top. All that in a world-class shiner, too. Detlef Schrempf and the Pacers battling the Pistons tonight, the third quarter just ahead. Remember, Friday, we're back at you here on TNT for a Midwest Division collision. Carl Malone, John Stockton, they'll team up as the Utah Jazz head to Hemisphere Arena for a date with the Admiral and the San Antonio Spurs. Utah and San Antonio are Friday night feature. That's not bad, either. Friday night here on TNT.